Well, hello folks. I'm back again. And I just wanted to uh, go over a few things. One of the things that's been on my mind lately that uh, a lot of people have been talking about is the border and immigration. Now before I start, I would like to say that I am all for making it easier to come into the United States. Having said that though, if you yourself as an individual were in your home and a group called you and told you they're going to break into your house, kill you and rob you, what would you do? Would you lock your door? Buy a better lock for your door? Would you arm yourself? Or hire somebody to protect you? Would you call the police? And have them surveil your house? Or even come under police protection? That's what we want to do for the border. It's as simple as that. An outside force has declared war on us and said, we are going to sneak into your country and cause all kinds of havoc, kill you and rape you and whatever, and we're not allowed to close the border? Come on. That doesn't even pass the smell test. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous to think that we wouldn't close off the border and have a secure border to protect ourselves. It's ridiculous. You can't let an invading army come into your country. It's just, it's stupid. Now, as far as immigration, um, I'm all for amnesty. You may not believe that, but hey, what? John's for amnesty? What the heck are you talking about? Oh yeah, but only if they have not committed a crime. And those crimes would be identity theft, social security fraud, welfare fraud, credit card fraud, check cashing fraud, driving without a license, driving a car on a public road without insurance or license or registration or inspection and things like that. But as long as you make meet all those re requirements, then yeah, no problem. <clears throat> it's sad that other people can't have what we have. True. But we cannot, we are a country of laws. We cannot just forego those laws so that people can come in here and break the law. We need law-abiding citizens. We can't invite non-law-abiding citizens into the country. And the fear that anybody that is committing identity theft and stealing somebody's credit, we can't have them in the country. It's destroying the country. I mean, that's, that's not racist. It's just too much of a burden on the entire whole of the country. Now, does that mean that we should shut out people from Mexico and Puerto Rico and Guatemala and wherever, Africa? No. We should be letting people into the country. There are some wonderful workers in Mexico. They are fantastic workers in Mexico. Fantastic workers in Honduras. Asians. Africans. People are lining up to come into the country that want to come into the country and do it legally. We should let those people in first. Understand? We should let people into the country that want to obey the laws before 
people coming into the country that do not want to obey the law. We be, should be trying to keep criminals out of the country. That's not racist. I'm, you can have as many Mexicans come to the country as you want, but they have to follow a process. They have to do it the law-abiding way. It's as simple as that. Any other way is just a degradation on our legal system and on our laws and on our overall way of life. Well, I guess I've ranted on long enough on that. You all have a good day and uh, be good to each other, okay?